Guys, this is Mast, and welcome back to some more Smite Conquest. Today we're playing a little Bologna ADC, and I figured we would try and see if it holds up at all in Season 10. I know we played it pretty recently because I played it for the SPL thing because she got used there. I figured we'd see if she holds up. I'm going to assume in advance it's probably a no. We're going to have to mix up the build a lot. Yeah, you take that, me take this. Good. It is kind of awkward when you're grouping the camps like this. It's actually a little bit hard to stack them up the way you want. God, the clear was disgusting this time around with the... Uh, the Bologna bludgeon. So good. Just getting straight up cleave autos for every camp. And then somehow they kind of, oh, they didn't do all the camps. So I was like, how did they match this? <laughs> Can I, please. Eh. I don't know if we're going to do anything. Oh, she shouldn't be. She goofed. She goofed. Yeah, I had to go for that like insta beads. Absolutely panic. Wing shards kind of OP and you're sleeping on it. Yeah, wing shard actually made a world of difference right there. That's so gross. By the way, not the god we're playing. Bacchus did get buffed this update. We'll have to play him soon. Maybe not. Why are you level three? What? What did he do? Oh my god. He doesn't have an ADC, so I think we're fine. How is he so fed, man? And Horus is level one. What is this game? What is this season? Before we go any farther, I want to take a quick minute to thank the sponsor of this video, Bespoke Post. Bespoke Post is a monthly membership club that sends you a box of awesome every month. Every box of awesome comes with top shelf goods from under the radar brands. Bespoke is free to join and you can skip a month or cancel anytime. 90% of the products come from small brands, many of which are based right here in the US. Every month, Bespoke adds a variety of cool new products like outdoor gear, barware, home and kitchen goods, clothing, and even live oysters based on a preference quiz that you fill out. Every month you get to preview your box before it's shipped and you can decide whether you want to keep it, switch it out for a different box, or you can skip the month entirely. Each box has about $70 worth of goods, but members only pay a fraction of the price. So you guys might have heard me talk on the channel about how I've been getting into food and into cooking lately, so naturally when I got a couple of boxes from Bespoke this month, they were going to be geared towards food and cooking. So here is the K-Box. The K-Box comes with a couple of carved coconut cups. You guys probably haven't seen it, it was kind of an old stream thing from back in the old mass Twitch days, but I am really into collecting different mugs and cups. I've got like multiple cabinets full, so these are going to be a nice little addition because they're going to be something different. We've got some Sorel, which I hadn't actually heard of before. It's a lot like a cider, uh, but it's based on hibiscus, which is really, really good. It tastes a lot like, to me, I think the closest thing would be like a cherry cider or something, but really, really good. And then we've got a set of wooden dominoes, and we've got some jerk rub or jerk seasoning. So if you guys haven't had jerk chicken before, it's Jamaican chicken that has a pretty different set of spices than anything I've ever had before. It's absolutely amazing, and I'm really excited to cook with it. And another box I got this month is the Hawker box. This box comes with a moon knife and with some curry seasoning so that I can make curry at home. This moon knife is absolutely beautiful. It's perfect for cutting meat and for cutting vegetables. And then I've also got a variety of curry seasonings like curry paste, coconut milk, and some different spices as well so that I can make curry at home. So, if you guys want to get 20% off your first box of awesome, click the link in the description and enter MASS20 at checkout or go to bespokepost.com slash MASS20. And now back to Bologna ADC. How, how the... <laughs> what is that? He is level 3 at 1 minute and he does not have any kills. That's crazy. Oh my god, man. Anyways, yeah, so Bologna, um did not get buffed in this update. She did not get nerfed in this update that I remember. I think she stayed the same. However, for Bologna ADC, Crusher got reworked. It's no longer something we would remotely want to build first item. Doesn't make sense. It's more expensive. It doesn't proc flat damage the way it did before. So that's a nerf. Uh, Golden Blade, not really important on her, even though it'd be good on other melee ADCs because she already just has bludgeon clear. So we could maybe go that and it might be fine, but I don't know. Um... Yeah, kind of kind of weird to build on her right now. Like, move speed items don't seem like they're really particularly good. And then if we just go, like, Aussie or something, Aussie's not really that much of a up-in-their-face delete them item. Like, it's okay at it. But a lot of Aussie's value is getting in trouble and being able to lifesteal. And we don't really need that on Bologna because we have lock stacks, right? Like, we've already kind of got our own sort of sustain that we're working with. So I think we're going to attempt going a very greedy, different type of move speed build where we're actually going to mess with some of the new stuff, the the buffed Bloodforge. Stop. 
the buffed blood forge and then probably at some point shadow drinker although that might be a little later in the game that might not be for a few items but i figured trying to zoom and then just see what we can to do more damage will be good so blood forge should feel pretty nice how much do we need yeah not even that much we should actually be able to afford it pretty soon pretty similar price to devos if i want to greed i'll probably be able to get away with it all right this could get a little bit bad they're level three finally they've actually caught up a little bit i'm 1v2 yeah am i too greedy i'm too greedy i'm too greedy i should have dipped get a little heal off before we dip right here yeah kind of using beads for no reason right here and now i might not get a stick around for blood force that might have been a big throw oh my god he's feeling it but his cc is so gross all right, we got a decent disarm right there. I don't think I get a turn this. I'm so low. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a little, I'm a little low. I think we'll back it up. That sucks. I don't get my farm now. God, if I go up there, I still couldn't have killed him. I was thinking like, could we actually go up there and kill him with a disarm? And then as I was going to say it, my disarm wasn't even off cooldown. So I'm going to assume not. Just didn't even have cooldowns yet, because this thing takes forever. Look at this. It's kind of it's kind of crazy. Will you actually get a little cooldown for being a warrior, though? That's why, if you're wondering why it's a very random number and we have 0% cooldown, it's because we have that little new warrior passive they added. That was in, the entire point of casting that so early. It was supposed to be to pull that over, and then we don't even get to. Okay, can you not invade this? They started wandering over. I don't know if they were doing gold or not. Give me that. Yeah, it's so nice being able to pull that way now. If you actually get invaded, it's so much more punishing for the invader to try and go for it, which is kind of interesting. It's a very awkward path to funnel yourself down. Because you can just pull it over to your own tower line and then have a lot of safety right there. All right, we will try and do this in dip for Blood Forge, unless that's still up. Why didn't they do this? I really thought they were going to invade. I guess they just went to their own purple. All right, I'll let you have it. I'm back, and I'm probably not going to get anything out of it. Let's do this. Okay, so Bloodforge, by the way. Look at this. Look at 75 power. Pretty good, right? So even though we're not getting the attack speed that we'd be getting off of Vossi, we're getting similar lifesteal. We're getting potentially a good passive as we get deeper in the game. Early game, this passive is not good because we're just we're 1v1ing in a lane. doesn't really do much. But we do get a big chunk of power that should help make up for the lack of attack speed. And then we get move speed, which is going to be important. So I think this actually might be smart to build specifically on Bologna ADC. Definitely would not recommend going early Blood Forge on a normal Hunter, because Aussie exists and Aussie would be better. But I think for our purposes, this should be a little stronger. You actually dipping? Oh, I might get a farm some Bastions right here. Hold up. I'm never going to do this, man. I'm always either brawling in solo lane or like jungling. So I feel like I never get the chance. Yeah, give me my money. My hard-earned money. I, mean, I think that's something I was going to touch on in the Shibalanke video, right? So it's about how the Bastions... Maybe I did just fully touch on it. About how much better I think the uh, the Bastions are by the new map changes. I think that's really interesting. That it's like harder to siege tier 1 and more pressure dependent. Let's see, I think we just win this. Because I think she's going to goof. Yeah, she's kind of goofed. My stupid ult didn't go off as soon as I wanted there. I think I had like a little bit of lag or something where it thought I was still in my two, even though I was out of my two. So it was a little bit clunky. Bon, it still works. She's just kind of sleeping on the damage. Yeah, ideally what I wanted there was I was hoping she would ult me because I didn't think she should just keep trading through that. I thought she would ult me and we could just like beads ult. Yeah, can I help you? Can you? Oh my God, it's so annoying. It's so hard to actually get out of his one, but still land the hammer. All right, give me this. So where do we go next? Is there anything like remotely good that I can build with a little move speed to it? Because I really don't think Shadow Drinker second is going to be good. I think Shadow Drinker maybe could work as like a later game item if we're deleting people. Because then I get a zoom at other people and that could be valuable. Hmm. I could straight up go Berserkers, actually. It's kind of cringe, though. It's it's pretty cringe. Should I go Berserkers? Because I really want to be deleting people. Is it good into this team? It's kind of good into this team. We're going to go Berserkers. You know what? I'm going to build a little cringe this game. We're going to see if it feels good. Okay? No 
It's one defense item on a warrior. I think I think that's allowed, right? We just go our ult and we'll just get the ult. Should be fairly affordable too, right? Can I just stick around for this? 2400? Eh. Kinda. What are we doing here, boys? It's so awkward now as a jungler trying to check buff timers. You have to go like so far around the map just, just checking off all these timers. Sometimes you actually get a buff and then a lot of time if you see that up, you're going to be able to kill it before they get there because the map's just generally bigger. Okay, can you... I am trying to do a wave here. This is such a bad... <laughs> such a bad trade. It's literally just not even worth... Oh, I thought she'd ult me there. It's not even worth going for that wave. I should have let it push up. But I care too little right now, so I'm getting myself dumpstered for no good reason. See, I think we can abate this here. There's no way you're that scared. Is she? There's no way her purple left coming up. That's, does she, what? It's not coming up, right? I don't think there's any way. So why did she dip there? That's so random. <laughs> I'm actually really confused because purple timers don't match or like general colored buff timers don't match the time of the buff anymore. That's not why she just, I guess she actually had a ward and that was like, not only is she not sitting under tower, she's like sitting behind tower to be unbelievably safe. I guess. They'd better not gank. That'd be so rude. All right, let me go get Berserkers. Let me get some crazy pressure. All right, so I think she doesn't get to do anything now is basically how it works. I have a ton of prot. I have good HP five. If I actually get low, I get 45% total attack speed plus damage mitigation. Like this is kind of a ridiculous item when we're actually getting into a serious fight and, and brawling. The downside is going to be I don't poke nearly as much. I just have, you know, it's not really that much of a damage item. We just get attack speed on it. That might be a little underwhelming, but I think this will actually be pretty gross. God, maybe this is the build. Maybe I go... See, I was talking about how it's way less fun to do the build that Yarkor built in Worlds when we did the last Blown ADC video, that recent one. Oh, you're kind of goofing, Art. <laughs> no, never mind. I don't think she's the one that's goofing. Oh my god, that was so bad. I really... Yeah. That could have been better. That was that was all my stuff. And I really did just miss. I remember, is her purple coming up? Mine's already up, so we can grab this, but if I can invade it, that'd be good. I don't know if I can. Oh, Harpies? Give? Give me this. Oh, oh, it just came up too. Can we actually kill this in time? Let me add it. No, there's no way. We're just gonna do gold. That's too bad. Yeah, so if we go something actually a little tankier, maybe that's going to be the new play since I can't build as many good damage options. If we go Berserker, Shoguns, and then more damage, that could be a way to get a bunch of attack speed. And then it's also a way to work it in. If I want to try those like Shadow Drinker, Blood Forge, weird move speed combos, then they'll help make up for that. Where it's like I'm building these defense attack speed items and then building just like straight up power move speed items. So we actually get like an overall balanced build that might be kind of sick. <laughs> she's actually so scared oh my god man i just want to have some fun with Bologna adc and art said no get her oh, that's too bad it's okay we maybe do a little tower little tower pressure not much i got i got like an auto on it and something All right, we'll see. Maybe I actually get to push this wave in. Who's here? Is there actually somebody here? Whatever, we'll go mid. Yeah, what's crazy is between... Ooh. Okay, okay. I don't think we kill him ever. We just get mid tower. I mean, not that I did anything, but... <laughs> but AMC just pushes mid tower. And then we're gone. And we maybe get a gank left because she thinks this is her moment. Yeah? Do you think it's your moment? No. She's either sitting under tower or she backed. Which one is it, Art? Oh, maybe she actually backed. Yeah, that's unfortunate, man. I really wish we got a nice brawly lane. We don't at all. She's not having it. Yeah, you know what? Okay, this is actually such a five head ward. Check this out. This is a team play ward right here. <laughs> 
I bet that will actually spot her a decent amount of the time. Because if I put it on her tower, she can just see it and kill it, right? So if I put it right there, right on the edge of the back of her tower, no troll, I think that might help him out on ganks. The or they'll get a spotter when she's super scared. Take this jungle buff. Uh, maybe not if she pushes all the way. Dude, what is happening? I am taking this in front of your face and there's nothing you need to do about it. Come here. Come on. Give minions. Thank you. All right, we're back in for Shoguns. Hopefully we do something somewhere else on the map. What's this game looking like right now? Actually looking kind of balanced. Get a blink like we used to. Wing shard is cool, but we're definitely going to want blink. Definitely not going to be worth holding on to. So yeah, now we have crazy attack speed. When this procs, my attack speed is going to be almost two entirely. And then, God, do we even go Death's Embrace maybe instead of Death's Temper? That might be good. Yeah, I don't know. And then I think we go like Serrated and Shadow Drinker is going to be the play. So we'll have good pen and then crazy move speed. And if I kill anybody ever, I just book it at their entire team. I could mess with the new Frostbound too, but I feel like that makes us too tanky. I don't know if I want to be, if I want to be that tanky, that might be a little much. And if I wanted to do that, I probably should have built that first item. It's also way more of an early game item and we have no early game when art just sits under tower. All right, I think it's time that we rotate unless she actually pushes up here, which it seems like she does actually push up here. Oh, she were. <laughs> oh my God, dude. I cannot think of any time remotely recently that anybody has been this afraid of me. They're playing so scared. Like, I kind of get it, but just, I don't know, man. Making this so much more boring than it has to be. Like, just call for spam ganks, you know? Just something. Something spicy. Yeah, if I wanted to be cringe, I could just zone her and make her push up, but I'd rather just run around the map and do other things. Hi. All right, man should be awfully dead. You definitely can see the lack, okay. <laughs> the lack of damage from this build right now. I don't think I care about any of this. Yeah, we do a little of that. And then we do pyro, I think. Wait, big? Trust, it's so easy to do big. It's so unbelievably easy to do big. Here we go. Check this out. Check out how dumb this is, man. Why? They really added, is, is this just them trying to hype up the new god? Or they're like, this is how good Surter was when he was Fire Giant? Because this is how bad the new Fire Giant is. Even though I feel like this one looks scarier. It's absolutely not. Like, I am just casually tanking this shit, and I am not remotely full tank. Excuse me. Stop that. Yeah, I just stick to that guy for years. Okay, Art is pushing a little too far. I'm not okay with that. Might have to run at her. Wait, <laughs> we do still have a tier one if anybody's wondering. If anybody's wondering, yeah, a little weird that the minions somehow just like got through tier one and pushed tier two. I don't know what that was. I'm not having this Art. Nope. Trap ain't doing shit. Bonked. I finally got my moment. I am seizing it. And then they have six. So I guess we're going game two. Yeah. Hopefully game two, we get a little more exciting of a game. And then I think game two, let me try the Frostbound start and see if it feels any good. Because that might be a way smarter way to go than just Bloodforge. Because like it'll make us do less damage still, but we get a way to actually stick to people, which might be pretty nutty. So we'll try that out, I think. All right, what's up, guys, and welcome back to part two. Uh, we're not doing whatever build I talked about doing in part one. I did it in a game. It went not so well in a game. Not that it was terrible. It was just really hard to carry with. So we are doing sort of part three, but you guys just aren't going to see part two because the game really wasn't particularly fun, and I don't think it's going to end up being particularly fun if we try it again. So we're going to go very high damage. We're going to try actually like a pretty normal ADC build. I'm just not going to really bother with the move speed and see how that feels. Uh, which should actually, I think, be a lot better, because realistically, even though it's nice to have move speed on blown ADC so you can stick to people, she also just gets it from her passive. It's not, like, super necessary. 
So I think game one, I might have been going a little overboard trying to make the whole Blood Forge thing work. <laughs> and we're just going to try a straight up Aussie into probably Kins and some stuff like that and just going good old like auto attack items. We might go Rage. Attack speed's really good on Bologna. So even though Rage is nice at the moment, maybe doesn't fit her quite as well. Uh, we'll see. We'll kind of try and feel it out a little bit. Yeah, we got a Sobek support this time around. Their team's all physical. Um, I could absolutely go Berserkers, and it would be very good. We're not doing it. We're committing. I don't need it. All right, they don't really have CC for this, so... Ooh, Sobek! The Shard! The Shard! Yeah, well, I tried. Do it again. But don't go into tower, because that'd be bad. But do it again. Yeah, you getting it, you getting it ready? You getting warmed up? I'm assuming it literally wasn't even up until like just now. See if he gets cheeky here. See if he's willing to risk the dive. Maybe he doesn't need to risk the dive. I think Guan's getting a little ahead of himself right now. Oh, we're so close to the level three. Hang on. Hit him. Hit him. Sobek. That's too bad. That's Sobek. Sobek. <laughs> Come here. Get over here. Come do buff. He is not doing buff one. I will solo the gold buff. Okay, now. <laughs> is that not even like an okay like I'm coming over? I think that's like a salt okay because he didn't even come over. Oh my god, man. Come do this. It's neutral farm. It's good. It's just like free food. At least we don't miss any wave over it, man. Yeah, that's so troll. If he just came over, we just like straight up get to do it faster and then I get to come back to lane on time and then it's not awkward. Yeah, if he wants to pull, it's good. Juan, we just not dashing? I want to get some bonks. I can't really do too much with the bonks right now. Yeah, we'll just death toll on up. Why'd you use this one? That doesn't do much. God, I need mana. I went multi pots this time around. Try and get a little more health sustain, which I think was realistically worth, but it is hurting a little bit now that we're running out. Oh my god. Yeah, really don't get to do much when we've already bullied him to this point. I can go for little baby bits of Bastion damage. It's going to be so weak right now. I don't think I care. I'd rather just not eat the little bit of extra poke we're going to take if we bother with it. I kind of want to go invade their purple right now. See if he's down. Because I don't think Guan Solo is in time. Yeah, he's trying to bring it back. Hang on. He's actually dead. <laughs> Give me the buff. Give me the buff. Yoink. We're dipping. I really thought, I thought he pulled a minion all the way over. I got so confused. Falling back out of mana. I don't have stuff, my guy. All right, hopefully we can clear a tiny bit more and go back to base. Actually, maybe it's not even worth. Maybe I should just back. It's kind of greedy to stick around right now. Yeah, let me clear this. Let me dip. I don't think we get a farm up for Ozzy or anything. All right, so off to an okay start. Off to a very weird start. That's kind of a glimpse. People definitely have a sense of safety right now with um, blue buff and with purple buff, those those side buffs. You can actually really get yourself caught there. There's a decent stretch of jungle. Um, so even when you're pulling it to tower, it feels like you're right next to tower. You're so safe. And a spot like that, you're still not necessarily right. So you can kind of catch people sleeping with it just because you have they have to extend so far to punish you, but it can still happen. Yeah, I've gotten I've gotten a tiny bit of that. I've gotten very little so far. I think it's going to happen pretty rarely, but it's been nice. Yeah, do I not even? I probably don't even need multi pots or blue pots that much. I overcommitted to this. Really got my dash with that. That's really unfortunate. Ah, oh, we're fine. I'm just gonna bait stuff until I dip, which was nothing. <laughs> it's hoping I could get his ultimate there. Yeah, don't really gonna do much to the lane slot. He's also three and zero. Oh. Okay. 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 If he ults, he's inting. Boys, anything? No, not you. We're dying in mid. Well, okay. I don't really know how we're dying in mid. That's probably not what she wanted. You have mid? What game am I playing? Oh my god. Yeah, so casuals and ranked alike, they're they're both a little scuffed at the moment. Because, you know, med ADC, probably not something that should be in my games. If I'm being honest, it <laughs> really probably should not. <laughs> oh my god. What happened to her ult? Why didn't she have her ult there? 
She had to have had it, right? I don't remember her using it. Maybe she did at some point and I just missed it, like when I beat Zunder Tower. Maybe she actually got in there and threw it. I don't think so. Alright, so we're gonna go get Aussie done. Uh, yeah, I'm assuming we'll go Kintai's next. Let me see, what all, what all can we build that's any good? Like, Kintai's definitely solid. I'm assuming it's not good to go the new crit item, right? Abo actually might be okay. Um, Bladed Boomerang. No, 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 it's not. No, if anything, we would want Demon Blade instead. Yeah, you don't get that much attack speed. I was kind of forgetting, this item gives you move speed and crit, which is kind of a weird combo. Like, they sort of moved Demon Blade over to that a little bit, but they made it bad when they moved it over. But I don't think it's worth much. It's got, like, this funky passive, and then overall the stats are pretty mad. And it really takes a lot of building up for it to get any good. And then you can just build Rage. So, <laughs> like, it's kind of a potato item. I tried it in that one game on Merc or whatever, on PTS, but I don't think we're going to be building it anytime soon. I have trouble seeing it doing much of anything, even with cheese in mind. Like, even from a cheese perspective, I think it's so hard to make it actually any good. She dip? Oh, she just took forever. Yeah, I heard her on purple. I thought she'd be done sooner. Let me do it, Ishtar. Ooh, have a little bonk. Yeah, I might get ganked. We have ult. We're probably okay. Lane is awfully long. I'm not eating a lot of damage, though. There we go. Give me those. Wait, do they buff? Do you get more money? That was 75 gold. I thought it was 50. Well, that's bad timing. I ate a tower shot because of that. And I'm chugging. Oh my god, I am chugging. Okay, well, we gamed. What is my... My frames are just dead. They're actually gone. I have to, like, go fix this. Oh, that's really tragic. I probably died because of that. Never mind. I can't play the game in. What is ha what is ha it says it's 150? It's absolutely not. Something's so bugged. All right, hang on. Give me a second, boys. Okay, I think it might still be scuffed, and I gotta try and work with it a little bit. It's still scuffed. I think my refresh rate is somehow messed up. Now my FPS looks kind of bad too, but it feels. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's it's so bad. It feels like I'm playing on like 30 frames, <laughs> but I think we're just going to work with it and I will try and not be salty. Oh my goodness, man. I don't know what this is. It's really bizarre. I don't think I've ever had this. I guess I don't know. I've kind of had similar stuff. I don't know why it's doing it right now, though. That's probably a bad sign for my computer because I've had kind of similar stuff in weird ways with this computer, but not in this context. Not with literally nothing else going on. It's somehow happening. It was just mid-fight, too. But uh, it might have just been a weird smite bug. There might just be something in the game. Because I'm trying to think. I think the moment I got Ishtar ulted is when it happened. So there might just be some weird thing where it's like the game is just breaking because it thinks Ishtar ult's doing some wild shit. I don't know. But we're playing Bologna. So out of any god to be chugging on. Probably one of the better ones. One of the safer ones. If it looks unbelievably scuffed, I'm sorry. Hopefully we can at least frag. I'm assuming it'll look fine in OBS. Wait, oh, oh, I think it got a little better. <laughs> I could be dripping. I don't think I'm going to do much to this Ishtar right now. She is tower sitting really hard. I think we mostly got to leave her be. Although, I don't know, maybe I can lull, uh, not lull her out, lure her out. There we go. Lull her into a false sense of security. Those are the things that I'm thinking about. Oh, we're baloning. Balona! Did do Bologna things. Poor Ishtar. Yeah, and she can ult if she wants, and then we ult, and then she doesn't get to do anything. And I can even be greedy and, and even try and tail, hold the ult, because she has no mobility, so I can just chase her with it. See if I even need to. Now, we should actually go take this tower, by the way. This is something I gotta learn now, that I gotta relearn, because I don't think about it much. Um, before, in, in Season 9, Season 8, especially in, in like earlier Season 9, before they made towers worth more, it really wasn't generally worth in lane to kill tower because it just makes it safer for your opponent, harder for you to farm. You don't get that much money out of it, at least individually. Um, now it's really hard to do much when you're sitting at tier two. You are so far back. It's very, very different. It's really easy to get caught out if you push up even a little bit. So like there's a lot of different pathing around that. So I think it's way more valuable now. All right, so we're going to do a little of that. I think we'll go XE. I think we'll go a blink. As we tend to on Bologna, I think the boys will tilt because apparently Kukul can 0 and 6 and Robin is 0 and 3, so they're probably not having a good time. Can't really blame him. Sobek's 1 and 0, oh, so he's probably okay. 
Yeah, I don't... What the hell is happening over there? It seems like it's mostly just Lancelot. Chiron's doing a bit. It might be okay. We might be able to come back from that. Give me the gold buff. See if she pushes up here. I actually might just be able to delete her. We got the kins going now. I should have some nasty damage. Yeah, she's pushing up. Pushing up. She's not the most mobile. Are we booking it now? Yeah, probably should be. <laughs> probably, probably should be. I'm fed enough. I just kind of auto kill her. I just do some gross things. Oh, wait a minute. I think I, I think I know what this is. I think I, I can fix it, boys. I'm so mad. That's so, I need to fix that. Somebody sent me a Steam message with something that was hidden underneath Smite on my main monitor, I think, or maybe it just was minimized in general. And it was animated and something about my weird setup. When I have some sort of like video playing on my screen, it just scuffs. That's actually what it was. I just didn't hear a notification for it. So nice. So FPS fixed. And if it's look scuffed in the video, it won't anymore. I saw my little Steam icon flash and I hadn't put that together. It's so dumb. I need to, <laughs> if anybody knows anything based on that, let me know. I need to, I need to get it checked. I think I'm actually going to bring my PC into a play soon anyways and have them hook me up with a new CPU. Cause, cause my PC's too, too refined, too beautiful for me to try and do a new CPU myself. I should be perfectly capable of setting it up and not breaking things, but I'm not going to be perfectly capable of doing remotely good cable management. So let me just hook somebody or have somebody else hook it up for me. And then maybe they can do a little peek at it too and be like, this is why it's all fucky. Hi. You get two creeps. Be happy. Be happy that I give you those two creeps. Poor support players, man. They really do. They just gotta soak up the scraps. Not much they gotta do about it. When, when are we gonna have, like, a support, um... What do you call it? What's the word I'm looking for? Not exi Like, rebellion th is a word, but it's not what I'm thinking of. I don't know. The, the, like, support backlash. Supports rise up. Ishtar. Oh, I'm playing with her. Oh, I am playing with her. That's all I wanted. That was really cruel. I did not need to do that. Yeah. Unfortunately, matchmaking, it's still in the early stages of matchmaking for the season. So we do get a little bit hit or miss. Hopefully, uh, hopefully as we get late game, we'll get a better glimpse at the build. Unless just like dumpstering the lane that's already kind of over. Yeah, maybe I got to run at this Chiron real quick. Maybe not. Maybe he dips. I do actually, I'm farmed enough. I might just run around the map. <laughs> it's probably not really worth overall. I might just run around the map. See, what are the odds I actually get to do anything to Surter here? He's not too tanky. You want a little ADC gank in your mirror match? Hi. Oh, I'm Bologna though. You think this works? You think this does anything? Bonk. It's too bad, he didn't need it. Wait, is he fine? Oh, my bad. Here I am thinking Surter takes damage. Whoops. I should have known better. I was like, oops, Surter, Surter died to the dive. No, he didn't. He's fine. He probably could have taken another shot, actually. Yank. What's crazy is like we're losing this game by a decent amount. We'll have to see how the late game goes. Okay, well that got a little bit unfortunate timing. I think he's still dead anyways. Yeah, hopefully he's still just dead. I seem to be tanking just fine. Oh, the block stacks were putting in work. <laughs> Hammer doing just enough. Oh my god. Gagolkin, please. This man is like back baiting in mid. Or or actually trying to back in mid. I don't know. It could be one or the other, I suppose. Oh, I see. Oh, you didn't have to. Actually, just like, like, we had the passive for a second. I was just straight up healing through gold, even though we were tanking. That's a rare one, since you get anti-healed. And we're out of combat, too? That's kind of crazy. Honestly, so nutty, man. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Unless there's random Ishar rotation, which would make it a little unfortunate. We're good. All right, we'll go pick purple buff and up. Excuse me! Come here. You should have known better than this, Ishtar. Why <laughs> why trying to hide in the buff? I guess that actually makes sense. Yeah, you don't get to, but I guess that does make sense. Try and stall at least a little bit. 
Yeah, Aussie's dumb, man. Aussie really is just so gross right now. Like, I'm just full HP again. I just Aussied up in that fight. I don't even, I'm assuming we got passive. I didn't even look for the passive. Uh oh, but he, he is, yeah, he's Surter, so he's probably gone, right? Do we go Oboe? Is that any good? Or do I actually, like, just have enough attack speed and he'll be fine and I can go Rage? I think we all, I think everybody here knows the answer to that. We're fine. I think we're gonna go Rage. I think we're gonna go uh, Demon Blade. That's gonna give us, like, attack speed cap once we have Death Temper, and I think that'll be the build. And I think it's actually gonna be, like, the meta build, no troll. Oh, I lost vision for two seconds, and I thought he went this way, and he did not at all. It might not have caught him anyways, but that was kind of troll on my part. Surter, come here, stop zooming. Nice. Nice. Big. Now we take tower in front of his face. Are you kidding me? Please be dead. Please be dead. Don't have ult. Please be dead. Please, thank you. Hi, Chiron. Oh, yeah, what we doing? Oh, I missed that. That's kind of bad. Aussie time? Yeah, it's Aussie time. Little mana core spikes as well. Chiron, stop it. Stop hitting my boy. God, the Kins is putting in work right now, man. Oh, my God. Please just let me kill him. <laughs> it's so, it's so difficult. Not this, the speed buff. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, that was a wiggle right there. Oh, unless did he just not care? He might have just wanted a solo laner. I'm actually just sitting in my three so we heal. Because <laughs> I'm not, <laughs> I don't think I'm eating that many autos. So I might as well try to heal up while we're doing this. Oh, what is this game, man? What is happening? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll let him tank that. I might yoink the thing, though, if nobody else does, since nobody ever seems to. Oh, he knows! Oh, Sobek! He's cultured! I never see people pick that up. He actually knows what's up. All right, so Demon Blade gives us potential 30% attack speed. I think that's good. I think we'll be happy with that. I'm assuming we can start working on it, and then we'll still have um enough money for Dust Temper when the time comes, I'm pretty sure. So hopefully we don't get any crazy surprise backdoor. Yeah, this is kind of <laughs> this is kind of what happens right now in some of these season 10 games. It doesn't always. I think this game's one of the, the less fortunate ones I've seen as far as casuals. Ranked is a lot more like this. But yeah, it really just is what it is. Like we have 06 ADC 04 solo and then 06 jungle 08 mid. And they're kind of balancing each other out a decent amount. And I'm not, I'm not saying anything to talk shit. I really like, it's just matchmaking issues is really all it is. You can't, you can't blame people for it, but yeah, it's a little ridiculous. I'm not sure if it's, uh, I don't know what it is for casuals. I don't know why that's as much of a thing. I guess it is a new system. So maybe they kind of reset some stuff for it. I don't know. Cause it makes sense for ranked since ranked literally just got reset. All right. She's back in lane. Oh shit. It's winged blade time. You guys know about the wing blade change? Oh, excuse me? No, no, no. No, no, no. Okay, you guys need to stop. You don't know about the rage right now, do ya? We still laughing, Guan? Now, I didn't kill him, but... But, like, are we? You know? Are we? <laughs> Char's actually just running it down duo. She does get a farm up that way, which is something. It might even be worth it. But it is also trolling him a bit. Yeah, just do fire. It's fine. She can get tier 2 if she wants. Well, we got some rage stacks. That's good. Definitely what we like to see. I'm assuming if I get enough farm here, I probably don't even go Dust Temper. I probably go Wind Demon. Or Demon Blade. It's going to take me so long to remember that. Not that it matters too much. I think people know. I think people can understand. Yeah, I'm assuming without the move speed, like, I feel like it definitely feels way worse, but I think it's probably still better here than Dust Temper. Because as long as we're not getting the Temper passive, we're overall getting super similar stats, but we're also getting crit on top. 
So should be should be just more reliable. I think. <laughs> oh no, they have six. That's too bad. I really wanted to get the full build going. We only got a glimpse at how dumb the damage was gonna get. It was gonna get so ridiculous. Yeah, I'm sorry, boys. Matchmaking, matchmaking, maybe not on point for that last one. I don't remember. Was it in the first one? First one, I think, was way more balanced than that, right? And they just have six anyways, if I remember right. Something like that. But, but yeah, it's going to happen some. I'm sure. I'm sure we'll work out the kinks over time and start getting more balanced games since the season's still so fresh. Yeah, 27K. Little little bit. Surger absolutely dumpstered in the, uh, the soul lane, too. My God, man. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video and I'll see you all in the next one. I've been seeking for the glory. Say, say, say my name. And I've been trying to wrap my own story in the search for fame. I'm sitting here in this empty room. Walls keep tumbling down.